Hi everyone, how are you? So today I'm filming my Ipsy vs. Birchbox video and I'm excited to film this because I didn't get to film it last month. By the time I got my bag and my box in the mail since I moved, it was way past the time when I normally put this video up, so I didn't want to flood your sub sub subscription box with another one of these videos if it wasn't really relevant. Today I'm also going to be including my first BoxyCharm, which is another beauty subscription service, and I asked on my Facebook and most of you said to just include it in the same video, so if you want to keep seeing BoxyCharm or you want to see another subscription service, maybe I can switch them out every month in addition to Ipsy and Birchbox, let me know. I thought it'd be fun because a lot of you guys ask if I'm subscribed to anything else, so I decided to try out another one. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Last thing before I get into the video, I had already filmed this video, so nothing's really like a surprise when I show you on camera, but I had gotten a new camera and I filmed it and the audio quality was terrible. So I don't know if I have to get like an external microphone or what I have to do with it, but I'm going to work on that before I use that camera because I don't my quality to be horrible so I already saw everything but I thought it would still be fun to film it I wanted to get this up I had just filmed it like two hours ago and when I went to edit it I was really really mad so let me get through this and hopefully I won't have any more problems so the first thing that I got in my bag is the Urban Decay 24 7 velvet glide on eye pencil I am so excited about this because I saw on Instagram some people had gotten this in their bag and I love the 24 7 glide on pencils they are amazing and I don't know if the velvet ones are like a newer version it goes on a little bit more matte than the typical eyeliner but I thought this was amazing I would have been happy just getting this in my the bag. next thing I got is this eyeshadow by Elizabeth Mott or Elizabeth Mote it is pop goes the shadow in the color champagne and this is a beautiful color it's super pigmented because I swatched it on my hand and it's so so Reminds pretty me of the L'Oreal infallible shadows and I'm definitely going to purchase more of them if they are kind of inexpensive because this quality and this pigmentation is really really great so I'm excited that I got this color because it is definitely something that I will wear especially now that it is spring and summer I like to go for like a shimmery eye look. The third thing I got is by the brand Dr. Brandt and this is the Microdermabrasion Skin Exfoliate. I've gotten a lot of Dr. Brandt products in my birch box in the past and I love all of them so I'm excited to try this one out. I think that it's a great size sample for a subscription service and I love exfoliators for my face. I cannot get enough of them. I love trying new ones. I love using them. I just love how they make my skin feel. So I am extremely excited about this and I thought this was a really great sample size. The fourth product is by the brand Kaylin and I've gotten some Kaylin products in the past. I think I have or I've seen them in videos at least but this is a tinted lip balm and when I was filming the video for the first time I did not think that it was going to be as pigmented as it was. It is super pigmented which I think is awesome. I wonder how moisturizing it is because I haven't worn it on my lips since it is so pigmented. I've never had such a great lip balm with such a great color payoff so I will definitely try it out. I thought the packaging was kind of crazy for a lip balm but it has a brush on the end that you can put in here and apply so I think it's really and cute. And the last thing I got in my bag is this Jasmine Roll-On Perfume Oil which smells so good. It reminds me of the resort my husband and I went to on our honeymoon and it just it smelled like this all the time. So I love how it smells but I'm not necessarily sure that I would use it as a perfume. It doesn't really have like a floral, I guess it is floral because it's jasmine, but it doesn't have like a perfume scent to me. It's more of like, I was wondering if it had some kind of aromatherapy property to it just because it, it feels and it smells more like that rather than something that you would wear out as a perfume. It, also the fact that it's an oil is a little strange because it, it just it's really oily. When it spilled all over my bag and I was holding it, it just kind of made a mess. So I'm not exactly sure how I will use this, whether or not it's meant to be worn out or what, but I think it does smell really nice. I just, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use so it. So that's yet. everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I thought that it was a really great bag. I really enjoyed everything and I think I'll get a lot of use out of most of them. I'm especially excited excited about the eyeliner. I think that the eyeshadow is super pretty. This exfoliator I will definitely use and the lip balm and the perfume oil I will get use out of as well. So I thought that it was a great great bag this month and I was excited. So moving on to my birch box. The first thing that I got in my birch box that I was extremely excited about was the Cynthia Rowley eyeliner and this is the crayon version. I have the liquid eyeliner pen and it is amazing. I actually used it today and I've been using it a lot recently. It comes out extremely well and and I just I love it so much so I was excited to get this crayon version I'll see how well this works but this is I'm assuming this is a full size and it says that it's $16 so I'm I'm really excited and I love this so the next thing that I got is this shampoo by the brand 
Keems, Kimes, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but this is a clean shine energizing shampoo and this has peppermint and macadamia in it, which I think sounds so interesting and I'm excited to try it out. I, the full size is $9.50, which isn't super expensive for if shampoo. If I like it, it's definitely something that I would consider purchasing. Next thing I got is by the brand Skin & Co. Roma. This is a truffle therapy serum and it is a boosting anti-aging serum and I... I don't use any anti-aging products yet. I guess it's never too early to but, start. Uh, I'll definitely give it a try. The full size is $75, so I thought this was a pretty good size sample. Definitely give it a shot. And then the fourth thing I got was probably the thing that I'm least excited about, and it's by the brand Super. This is the Daily Correct SPF 35 CC Cream. And I'm not a big fan of BB creams and CC creams just because they don't usually give me enough coverage, but I'll definitely give it a shot. This one is light to medium self-adjusting shade, and they're usually usually too dark for me, but I'll try I mean, it out. this sample was a little disappointing. It's super small. Usually BB cream and CC, CC cream samples are pretty small, but I'll give it a shot and see how well it works. And then the last thing I got in the box was this Kind Snacks Healthy Grains Bar Maple Pumpkin Seeds with Sea Salt, and I already ate it. I ate it for lunch today since I filmed the video and I was hungry but before I filmed my next video, so I ate it, and it was actually really, really good. I don't mind when they include food as the lifestyle extra because I do find some things that I like, and I've heard a lot about the Kind Snacks in general, but it was delicious. So that's everything that I got in my Birchbox. I thought that it was a pretty good month for Birchbox as well. I especially am looking forward to using the eyeliner. I'll definitely try out the anti-aging serum and I'm looking forward to using the shampoo. I would have to say in terms of value, I don't think the value was crazy high. I think the eyeliner and the anti-aging serum helped to add to it, but it wasn't like my highest value box ever, but there weren't too many misses, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying everything. So like I said, I also decided to include my boxy charm in this video, which came with a really pretty ribbon on it, but since I already unboxed it, I threw that away. And boxy charm is a subscription service for $21 a month, so it's a little more than Birchbox and Ipsy. You get full-size products. I think they said they might include some deluxe products as well but the box is always guaranteed to be at least $50 retail value so you know that you're getting your money's worth. Normally I see that the boxes are worth like a, over $100 so I think that that's really great. The thing that I like about this is if you're looking to grow your collection you're going to get full-size products which is great as opposed to you know small samples like I've been getting in my birch box like that tiny little CC cream. So let me just jump into it before the sun completely decides to set on me and you guys can't see me any longer. So the first thing that I got in here was this hair serum which I was so excited about. This is by the brand Coolway. It is the Glow Finishing Oil. This is a full size and it retails for $29.95. And you put this in after your hair is My dry. My hair has been giving me so many issues. It's so dry from the long winter. And I also have been having a lot of breakage up top. And I haven't been wearing my extensions. I'm just trying to wear my natural hair recently. And so I'm excited to try this. I thought this size was amazing. I've never gotten anything like this in my birch box or my Ipsy bag. So I was really pleasantly surprised when I saw this. And this will last me forever because it's such a great big size. A great big size. I don't know if that sounded weird how I said that. The next thing is by the brand Ofra, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it is a long-lasting liquid lipstick. The, this is a full size and it retails for $19.90. I have gotten this brand in my Ipsy bag before, and the only thing is the packaging looks a little cheap, but the products themselves are really great. I think that I got some kind of eyeshadow product before and I loved it, and this color is gorgeous. When I swatched this on my hand, I was so blown away by the pigmentation. It's so beautiful and I will get so much use out of this during the spring and the summer. It also smells just like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which smell like cupcakes, which I love. I got two products by Model Co. and I've gotten Model Co. products in my birch box before and I really, really like them. I think they are definitely worth the price. I would spend the amount that they're worth on them, if that makes sense. So the first thing I got is this blush, and this is a full size and it's worth $18. So this blush is so, so beautiful. I think the pigmentation is really great and it is gorgeous. I'll probably get more use out of it dur during the fall and the winter, but I might wear it, you know, during the summer if I have a little bit of a tan. I just thought it was gorgeous and the packaging is really sleek and really pretty, so I can't wait to use this. And then I also got this lip liner. I think it's really meant to give your lips a full appearance and I thought the color was really gorgeous. I like how it has a sharpener right on it which is super convenient and I'll definitely use it. I personally wouldn't spend $19 on a lip liner but I thought that this 
was a great thing to include in the box since it is a full size. I mean, this will last you forever. And the last thing is a nail polish by the brand Bella Pierre, and this is a nail color in the color lavender. It retails for $15 which I've never heard of this, this is a pretty color. I have so many nail polishes, I don't need another one, so I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. Just check the description box if you want to win this, but I thought it was fun to include in the box as well. So that's everything that I got at my BoxyCharm. I was so excited to try this out because I've heard great things about BoxyCharm, and for $21 you get, this was $100 of products. So I thought that was a great deal. If you're looking to build your collection or you really want full-size products, Definitely check out BoxyCharm. I know that it's a little bit more monthly, but I would think that it's worth it. I mean, for $21, you get all of that. So I thought it was really great. If you guys want me to keep doing BoxyCharm, let me know. Or if you want me to try another subscription service, let me know. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I thought that all of my boxes were really great this So month. I hope that you guys have a great day. I hope that I can figure out my audio issues with my new camera so I can use that one out. But thank you guys for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.